In this video, we will learn how to grade or mark a OneNote class notebook assignment that was created in Microsoft Teams. To see how you can create this assignment, click on the video suggestion above. Also, stay until the end of the video for a fast and informative way to provide feedback to students in Microsoft Teams. To open the students' work, you must visit the Assignment tab in the General Channel. This will display all the active assignments for the class. Click on the assignment you wish to grade or mark. You will now see the list of students in the class and the status of their work. If a student has not viewed the assignment yet, the status will read not handed in. If the student has opened the assignment, the status will read viewed, meaning they have opened the assignment, but they have not turned it in yet possibly because they have started the work but not quite finished it. If the student has completed the work and turned it in, the status will read handed in. Regardless of the status of the student's work, you have the ability to view or grade the work they have done so far. In order to do this, click on the student's name to open their work within Microsoft Teams. With the student's work now opened, you have the ability to add comments directly to the student's work. If you have a touchscreen device and a stylus, you can write your comments directly onto the work. To do this, select the Draw tab and then choose the colour you wish to write with and then add your comments. If you don't have a touch screen or a stylus, you can click anywhere on the screen and you can type in your comments. You also have the option in Microsoft Teams to add overall comments about the work in the feedback box. And if you have created a rubric and attached it to the assignment when you created it, you can select it from the right hand panel and add some feedback. Finally, if you have added some points or marks to the assignment, you can add them and then click return so the work is sent back to the student. The student will receive a notification saying that the assignment has been returned back to them and then they can view it. To move on to the next student, click on the right arrow or click on the name box and select a specific student. I found inserting audio a great way to provide detailed feedback to students very quickly. This not only helps the students, but it reduces the time it takes to grade or mark all the classes work dramatically. Where possible, I would recommend keeping the audio feedback short, so the audio file is not too large. If it is large, it may take a bit of time for it to sync with the cloud storage and also students are unlikely to listen to audio for long periods of time. Up to 90 seconds should be enough time for detailed audio feedback for most assignments. To add audio, click on the student work where you would like it to be placed and then click on insert on the top ribbon. Once you select the audio icon, the recording will begin and you can start giving your feedback. Once finished, select the stop in the audio tab and the audio will start to be processed and saved to the cloud. Students will then be able to click on the audio to listen to the feedback. If you have any problems recording the audio from inside Microsoft Teams, 
you can always open the OneNote Class Notebook app on the desktop. From here, you can do the same process by clicking on the screen where you would like to place the audio and then record your audio. Well done for including key terms in your work. This will help you achieve higher marks in your exam questions. However, there are a couple of errors in your work. See if you can spot them and then add the corrections in a different color. Click on one of the options here to continue to enhance your teaching and learning and don't forget to subscribe to the Teach Me channel so you know when more useful videos are released.